Hi Sagittarius, I hope that you're all doing well. We are here with a timeless reading, so whenever you watch this can be when the reading comes to fruition. We are starting off first with the Fool. And the Eight of Wands, okay. Having Fool and Eight of Wands feels like there is something new that you are jumping into. I think you're gonna cover a lot of ground quickly with this, having Eight of Wands be there too. It feels too like if you're debating the best way to do something, so say you're immersed somewhere and you're trying to figure out what path to take, all of them are going to go to the same place, so it seems like you get to explore which path you want to take. It doesn't feel like you have to go a certain way. This feels very much like if there's exploration that's happening here with the Fool, and you're going to go to the same place anyway, like why not go any of those ways that you want to? And even having the Fool here can be about the exploration of those different paths in the first place anyway. So it's not like... I'm seeing this be like, you don't need to worry. Am I doing it the right way? Am I doing it the right way? This feels more so like no matter which path you pick, it's all going to go to the same place. And so explore or like do whatever is your preference. And if you don't have a preference, maybe like try different things and see what you want to do. But all of it is about sort of the exploration of it. All of it feels like it's very much about the adventure. It's like there's growth and movement. Anyway, you cut it. What's that about? Seeing Ten of Wands, Three of Swords come out together. I do get the notion of you covering a lot of ground fast. Some of you, this can even be something physically that's taking place. Okay. It does look like there's somewhat of a recovery that's happening from something that could have really been... Dragging you down. Dragging you down, is that right? I don't know why I'm being drawn to it on the card. So I'm seeing Four of Swords. This looks like there can be somebody that you're taking a little bit of space from. And whether you are or you aren't, it's more so about you doing what you need to do for yourself. So if there's some type of healing that you're doing i'm seeing that be taking place it feels like having ten of wands be there next to next to the three of swords it feels like something is difficult to do maybe because of how how much energy has to go into this to healing is the the thing that i feel drawn to with this with this three of swords because it doesn't always have to do with that but in this setting it, it feels like something that you know like if you break a bone how or you're sick or something you have to rest and you can't use your regular your energy that you would normally do you know like uh sorry guys i feel like this is going around and around when you're sick and you try to have a normal day, you know that it's more draining than usual because your body's trying to recover from something. I get the notion of that, that there's something that's going on that is being healed, whether this be on like some type of subatomic level or this be something that you're consciously aware of, there is healing that you're going through currently. And so if you are feeling more tired, if you are feeling like, I'm doing the thing I normally do and I'm, I'm feeling so drained. Why is that? It's because there's healing that's taking place. I wonder too for some of you if you're impacted by like a collective healing that's occurring as well. 
And this can also be like the weight of some type of wounding and it can be yours, yes, but it can be something ancestral as well, but that you are bearing the weight of something that you're carrying. That's like immediately where I'm going to with this. I'm wondering if like this isn't only your stuff, but you may feel like you're the one that has to do something about it. So this stuff is going on and it's being brought to light and again it can be something collectively it can be something within your family it can be something within your your group or like wherever whoever it is that you belong to or family structure doesn't only have to be blood it can be more so like if you have some type of collective you know that you're connected with this feels like some heavy heavy stuff that's that's being gone through here that had been sort of molded one way and it feels like coming out of that. What I'm noticing on this two of cups that's on the bottom of the deck is that there are these two energies and they're connected to one another, kind of like Siamese twins. And in it, one of them has these marks on them and it looks like a tattoo or it looks like a ladder. And that's what my energy is being drawn to. Or like it reminds me of staples or something. And I feel like there's so much symbology within all of that. You know, it can be something that there, there are like two energies that have merged, but there's a sense of individuality. There can also be the yin and the yang, like the two different sides of you that are really just the two different sides of the same coin. This can be people that you didn't have a choice other than it felt like to be connected to, you know, and you had to learn how to sort of grow up or survive in certain circumstances and it can be stuff that there's like joint things that are happening but I do like and like thinking about the staples that's like something that's trying to be put back together but I'm only seeing it be on one side like they these sides don't mirror one another in that way this thing is a unique thing to these sides so only one of them has that but the staples also look like Lat like a ladder to me like something that you climb and I wonder if this has to do with like elevating or evolution and so that's what's essentially taking place here because of this stuff that's happening where something is sort of like growing together like growing back even now and that that's where the lethargy is coming from or that's where the heaviness is coming from or the exhaustion is coming from or the like need to recover or even the even if it doesn't feel physical it can be like why do i feel less social right now why do i feel like more agitated right now it can be those sorts of things that you're feeling where this is all like all around about like healing and self-care that's happening and recovery this it feels like too addressing anything that would be getting in the way of your stability. Again, stuff with family can definitely be coming up here or like the people that you mainly interact with. Like sort of the core cast of your life. Yeah, some of you, I do get this feeling that there can be, we'll call it ancestral healing that you're doing and you can feel like you weren't the one that started this, but you're sort of bearing the cross of this and that you're doing work now to heal this. Because I don't, this doesn't feel like it's only yours. This feels like it's bigger than that to me. This feels kind of like more encompassing than just you on an individual level. I mean, it will be you on an individual level, yes, and also bigger than that. Seeing the emperor.
Emperor and Seven of Cups. <sighs> Emperor and Seven of Cups is about when you're posed with something that's not straightforward, how do you maneuver through that in a way where you feel like there's a solid like work ethic of moving through or like a solid just method in general of moving through something that's not straightforward and how do you come up with something and be resourceful when it comes to moving through this when you don't automatically know how how to do that and it can be kind of a confusing time as well stuff even about your livelihood can be involved with this as well like what am i doing what am i doing here what am i supposed to be doing am i supposed to be over here and like all of these questions that are coming up with the emperor stuff about your purpose can be coming up stuff about what you're doing with your life in general or what you what's going on within your business the business of life it can be a business if you have like an actual business that can be part of this too having the fool and having the emperor feels like there are parts of your life that you're exploring right now that you have not explored yet and although you're making progress, you can feel very confused about like the direction of things, like what's actually happening and where are we going? Like to me, it seems very much like they're, like you're gonna go to the same place no matter which path you take, but that can still be throwing you off anyway. You know, it's that feeling of telling yourself that there's a specific channel or a specific route that you need to take and I'm not seeing that be the case because I'm seeing you make progress nonetheless and I'm seeing there be movement nonetheless. Why is the seven of cups here? Like why is there confusion about this? Or why is it not clear cut? Maybe just because it's being explored you know, you can be trying to size something up, but you haven't you haven't taken in enough to be able to conclude that yet. It's meant to be like this. I'm seeing the death card come out. What that indicates is that there is a lot of energy like moving and shaking essentially that's happening. And so you're meant to just be sort of in a free for all. It feels like you can do this however you want. You can make moves however you want. Like you don't, there's not a specific way that you need to do this. Sometimes we're going through something and there is like a very like step here and then step there. And it's very like every single step has to be particular. This does not feel like a time of that. This feels like it's a, a time when there's both energy it's like the ocean when the waves hit the shore there's like a coming in and a going out that's happening and so something is still in that process where it feels like something hasn't fully totally changed over yet it's close to happening but it hasn't totally happened yet and so right now you're just supposed to be exploring things you don't really need to have an agenda but the part of you that is the emperor may very well want to have an agenda i want to know what's going on i want to know what this is for what are we building what's happening here and the fool is like you have to run around and get a lay of the land first before you start trying to build something and so it, it feels like allowing that to happen and then you can be like well what direction am i supposed to go in like there's a supposed to here but this feels more so like wherever wherever your intrigue or interest or your heart is telling you in that moment it doesn't need to feel it doesn't need to be organized like that and i think that you this is going to be much more effective but it can be a little bit unfamiliar or even outside of your comfort zone to do things in this way it's like the fool you're supposed to be exploring and seeing what's happening and i'm seeing you almost like wanting to make sense of the chaos but you haven't digested all of the chaos yet like you haven't even experienced all of the chaos yet so if you haven't come across all of the different puzzle pieces and you've only come across a limited amount of puzzle pieces you can only put together half the picture anyway and i'm almost seeing you wanting to put the picture together already but you haven't gotten all of the pieces yet and that's what the fool is about 
like still like moving around and and seeing things and what works and what doesn't work and like is this a place I like is that that sort of thing that's happening and then you're gonna be able to like to sort of like snap into place and to lock in and sort of do your building how you want to and things are gonna move very quickly at that point but it's not time for that yet this feels like chaos and organization meeting one another and I get you initially like you ex you are in the chaos for two seconds and immediately you're like okay I want to do something with this and it's like you need to be in there longer still it's not time yet so that's why how I'm making sense of seven of cups being clarified by death card because when we go through transitions it feels like what's going on you know there's that feeling of I I don't know what exactly is happening this isn't totally straightforward I don't know what the best option is like what am I supposed to be doing here with this and it's like you're gonna figure it out but you haven't gotten to that point of being able to recognize the pattern yet because you need to do more observing and more exploring I get even this sense of you could feel like exploring something is a waste of time even but you'll find that you get much better insight doing things in that way than if you try to go through in like a more robotic way. interested seeing three of cups on the bottom of the deck at the end of this three of swords five of cups is something that has happened that still has not been processed There is healing that's happening. There is also pain that's being addressed. This feels like healing as a discipline of some sort, like taking this very, very, very seriously, almost like it's a course that you're taking is how I'm seeing the Emperor and the Three of Swords. This can even be something that you're working on where you had like a lack of faith. This is feeling very like Aries Chiron to me where there can be a like I don't fully trust myself to guide myself. I don't fully trust myself to be that authority in my life. I don't fully trust myself to be the one to tell myself to make those moves and I'm hearing extradition. Um, so, so yeah, having that, the energy of Aries is our ability to, when something is going on, sort of know where we stand and know what to do and how to handle it. It's like the leader that you look to, but this is becoming th like giving that authority, the authority to yourself within your own life. And the emperor can be you like you looking to yourself rather than looking to somebody else and this feels even like generationally something that you're healing this is the this is like the cross that you're bearing currently that i'm seeing your ability to be self-guiding self-leading to be in the front so you're also forging the path as well, but having three of swords here indicates there being wounding around that. That can mean like you've been in situations where you try to do something your way and had somebody like constantly criticizing you, correcting you, telling you like that's not the way to do it. You know, you have somebody being like an, an oppressive authority within your life. And this is about unleashing 
the emperor within you and having the fool here this is about exploring and the part of you that there's a part of you that can feel very very uncomfortable like this like when you don't have somebody telling you what to do what are you doing and i almost get this feeling of you standing there being like what are we supposed to do right now and the fool is like jump around run around go exploring and it, it this feels like a part of you that you've maybe become a bit disconnected with that now you are connecting back with but it can feel very uncomfortable to confront that you know this feels like having to grow up and be an adult and and not doing so much play because aries is also a sign of play as well it's a it can be like a very childlike energy as much as it can be like the leader of the pack and the soldier it's also aries can be a very silly energy like very comical very you know wanting to entertain as well or just do something for the thrill of it and do something just because it's exciting like it doesn't have to be for something bigger although it can be and this feels like the part of you that you're connecting with now you know when you don't already know what the rules are this is about discovering what they are for you or maybe going into something that doesn't have any rules and you get to sort of weave your way through so you can be confused about the direction or unsure about the direction but i'm seeing you even making progress with this you're in a time of exploration not everything makes sense not everything is supposed to right now there's still more exploring that's being done you're figuring out where you're going, where you're heading, where you're going to land. I do get this sense of sort of making up the rules as you go. Like maybe you're in a situation where there's not this like already established something there like constraints even and so you are somewhere completely liberated currently and it's almost like not wanting to step out of the cage because you like did that before and like what happened you know and i do again feel like this is something that's been passed down that would sort of keep you stuck within that and you're the one that's stepping outside of that but it can feel really heavy With nine of cups and five of cups, there can also be something that you're you're looking at. I don't know if this was something that you once had or something that you just wanted or something that you saw somebody else having and you were like, why don't I have that? But this is definitely a feeling of having nine of cups and then having five of cups is like, what you want and this is like a loss or looking back at something and feeling like presently I don't have something that I want. And it looks like there's also pain that's associated with that too, like healing that's happening that's associated with that too. Like maybe you got something stressful that you didn't want rather than something that you thought you wanted and felt like should have happened. And that's also something that's being worked with too. What happened? Oh, this has to do with a relationship. It has to do with a connection is what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing something be... In a way, there are possibilities to create things presently. Simultaneously, you can look at something and feel like... Something that already happened hasn't totally been accepted. And that can keep you from creating what you want presently. Because how are we seeing the fool and seeing the five of cups feels like before you even let yourself go explore, you're already feeling disappointed. Like you're already feeling like it's it with the fool. It feels like something really beautiful is happening here. But maybe because it differs from what you expected or what you wanted exactly, there's this 
feeling that is like not good enough or something. I feel like this is not allowing you to be totally present. As I said before, if something didn't go the way that you wanted and you still haven't come to terms with that, you can have something right now that has the potential to be even like better than what you thought you wanted. And, but by not being present, you're not gonna give yourself the opportunity to even realize that. And that doesn't mean like the pain that you're experiencing isn't real, it's real, it's the experience that you're having. This doesn't mean that something didn't work out the way you want to do. Like, yes, it still means all of those things. And also, I wonder if you're gonna get deeper into the implications of what it's meaning for you if you're not totally and fully present within your life currently and what opportunities that takes away from you presently. Like what that doesn't allow you to realize presently. What you're going to what you're going to realize is that if you allow yourself to come into the present moment, which means that there can be there's a shedding that's happening, there's a transition that's happening, there's a release that's happening, there's a letting go. It can feel very painful. This isn't just like let it go, you know, and then you're free. This is like it's difficult to to transition. It's very difficult to change our minds. It's very difficult to mentally, psycho psychologically speaking to evolve. It can be very painful to do that. What you're going to end up seeing is that you have the opportunity to now to you have the opportunity now to manifest. There is potential for you to manifest what you want. Even though you're still there's still other things that you're experiencing, but it also doesn't have to block you. You can be dealing with those things and still experiencing those things and you can still feel connected. You can still be Things can, there can be other things how you want them to be. There can be things that you want in your life the way that you want them to be. Some of you, I will say this, I get the feeling that I don't know for some of you if this is going to be a completely new connection that you get into or for some of you this feels like you may reconnect with somebody that things happened with because there's like unrest on both sides actually. Because I get this feeling of someone looking at things and like even looking at something that they want and it looks like a connection. Let's say that the emperor is you. Because this has to do with like your life big picture. There are some emotions that you're processing right now that have to do with two of cups, which can mean somebody that you're close with. It can also be multiple people that you're close with. But I'm seeing it tune into a specific connection, a two of cups and a nine of cups, which is somebody that you look at and the connection in some way is a wish fulfillment of yours. And five of cups feels like something that you don't have, something that you may have lost, something that no, it does feel like loss. It does feel like there was there was something that you had and you don't have it anymore. Not in the same exact way anyway. With the fool, I do feel like you're exploring. I don't feel like there has to be a certain way that it needs to go, but with I'm wondering again like with the emperor here if there is this 
way that you feel like things have to unfold in a specific way and it doesn't have to it almost I almost get the feeling again of like you're being thrown into an environment where you can explore something and there's not a specific way that you have to do this but you're being called to explore in a way that you feel inspired to explore it and it's like before you even are finished exploring something you're already feeling like something is a loss like something didn't work out like something didn't go how you wanted it's like this fixation on something that didn't happen exactly as you think that it should have but with the fool here i feel like something is happening that you're not aware of like you're being set up for something to happen where if you keep looking at this thing in the past that you don't have an opportunity to change now the events that occurred it feels like presently you there's an opportunity for you to manifest what you want but it's al almost feels like like count i don't know i forget what the term is but it's like before something happens like basically saying that you missed your shot essentially But I'm seeing that you're being given a shot to do something here, but I don't think that you initially realized it as that. And so it feels like before something has even begun, you saying that it's like there's an ending here, there's something here, and I feel like you didn't even explore and see what would happen. This feels like you're really assuming something. And there's something about a really amazing possibility that you're cutting yourself off from if you don't pull yourself totally into the present moment and explore. Because there aren't, there are, some type of rule that you're assuming is there is not actually there, is what this feels like. And so stuff can happen that you wouldn't anticipate to happen. Like stuff is possible that, that you are assuming is not possible. Because what I'm actually seeing with Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which is strange because Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck is such a different energy than what we end up with over here. When we look at Three of Swords and Five of Cups, this is somebody feeling really down in the dumps, just looking over everything and feeling like there's an unease about what's happened and how they're feeling and how they really wanted things to be. But having Three of Cups is saying that something is actually coming together here that I feel like you're assuming like isn't possible or it's not going to happen or like something is off the table, something like that. But I'm seeing that something is actually very possible. You just don't know that yet. And I think that if you're going into this assuming you are it's not going to be able to be realized because you're basically like cutting off the life supply to something that's going to take you somewhere that i don't think that you knew was possible before because i wonder too with the fool and the emperor it feels like you're entering into a period within your life where you could have felt like in a way you had things figured out but this shows like the second half of the story that's starting to happen now and that it's not the same rules that were in the first half this is a very different thing and i almost i feel like the stuff from the first half that happened you're like carrying things into this that don't belong here and that's why this stuff is being worked on right now because I am seeing you coming into something already like looking wounded when this is supposed to be more of a fresh start with the fool here which there also there's nothing wrong with feeling wounded um, however I'm seeing like something is possible to sort of feels like merge or come back together that you can look at and feel like it's not together the way that I want it to be and it feels like it's possible for something to actually come back together. It's not gonna happen immediately, it's going to happen eventually. And I will say too that like, yes, this will very much be you with a part of yourself that comes together in a way that you are not currently merged with yourself, but also too, 
for many of you, it's not happening right now. This is part of the exploration process and you are not being told certain things because you're just supposed to be exploring right now. No matter which way you cut it, you're going to the same place. And what is that place? I'm seeing you and somebody else. You're going to be connecting with one another. But it's not happening. Like you guys are going to be the two of cups, which means that something is going to merge. Something is going to be, be become cohesive. Three of wands above shows that it's not there yet. But this is what's going to be happening. This is what's going to come together. And... There can be like a lot of effort that's going to need to be put into what you want, but I'm seeing something actually be possible, but there is stuff that's going to have to be addressed simultaneously, but something is not outside of the realm of possibility here. And I feel like initially you looked at something and felt like it was a lost cause or like it wasn't possible or you already had the opportunity and you lost it, but I'm like actually not at all seeing that be the case here because three of cups shows something very much is able to be reconciled. And I do feel like something is going to be stitched back together here. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.